Hi guys, in this quick tutorial, I'll explain the difference between track null, track solid, and set ground plane and origin in After Effects when working with 3D camera tracking. Let's get right into it. So I've already tracked my footage using the 3D camera tracker. After the tracking is done, you'll see all these colorful tracking points all over your scene. When you right click on them, you'll notice options like create null and camera, create solid and camera, set ground plane and origin, and more. Each of these has a specific use, so let's go through them one by one. When you select a few tracking points and choose create null and camera, After Effects creates a 3D null object that's perfectly attached to that exact spot in your footage. It doesn't have a visible surface, it's just an invisible control point in 3D space. You can use this null to attach other elements, like text, particles, or 3D layers, so they follow your camera movement accurately. Think of it as your reference point, a handle to lock things in place within your tracked scene. Next is Track Solid. This does almost the same thing as a null, but it also creates a visible flat surface that matches the orientation and perspective of the plane you selected. So when you choose Create Solid and Camera, After Effects adds a solid layer that sits exactly on that surface in your footage. This is super useful when you want to place textures, screens, or effects on real surfaces, like walls, floors, or car. And here's an important tip, Track Solid is often better to use because it gives you a visual reference inside your 3D scene. You can always see where your tracked point actually is, and it makes it much easier to control and position your elements later. It's especially handy when you have multiple track points, the solid helps you stay organized and see what's going on at a glance. Now let's talk about set ground plane and origin. This one doesn't create any new objects. Instead, it redefines your 3D space. When you choose this option, After Effects uses your selected track points to tell the After Effects, this is my floor, and this is where I want my 3D world to start. So the scene will shift so that the chosen plane becomes your ground, and the point you click becomes the center of your 3D world, that's the origin point set all to zero. This is very helpful before adding 3D text or elements, because it aligns your world properly and keeps everything easier to manage. And that's it for this tutorial. Now you know exactly when to use track null, track solid and set ground plane origin. Try them out in your next 3D track and you'll instantly feel the difference in control. Thanks for watching, drop a like if this helped, subscribe for more quick after effects tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one.